Believe it or not, the arch of our tongue has a direct effect on our lip slurs and range. Basically, when we're in the middle or low register, our tongue is in the ah position. Say ah. When we're in the upper middle and upper range, the syllable we're producing with our mouth and our, our tongue is e. So say e. You can feel how the tongue is higher when you say e and when it's lower when you say ah. A great analogy is when we whistle. When you whistle low, your tongue is low. When you whistle high, it's higher. If you're unable to whistle, you can just do a wind tunnel. As you go higher, the tongue goes higher. So the same principle is true when we play on the trumpet. Now I'm going to play a scale here for you, and I'm going to keep my tongue in that ah position. And you're going to hear it sounds much like a beginner. As I go higher and higher, the pitch goes what? It goes flat, doesn't it? That's because my tongue is very, very low and the notes start to kind of crack and I'm just on the verge of falling off of every note. Now I'm going to play that same scale with my tongue gradually rising as I go through the register. And I can play all the way up to high C without any trouble because my tongue is gradually rising and it's helping that air accelerate a little bit faster and my embouchure, the muscles here around my lips, are not having to work so hard. Now you can hear it much more clearly when we get to lip slurs. So if I try to do a basic lip slur and keep my tongue low, you'll hear that I'm having to push more air to get those higher notes to come out. And you've heard this in the band hall, you know, around 7th and 8th graders, 6th, 7th and 8th graders as they're learning how to do lip slurs for the first time. I'm just pushing harder for the upper notes and of course the upper notes are very loud and distorted. Now I'll do the same lip slur and just use my tongue to control that airspeed. Now this takes a long time to develop and I encourage you to spend daily time practicing these lip slurs, maybe five, six minutes in each little practice session. And over time, it's going to get much, much better. But you need to be very, very patient. And I highly recommend the book by Earl Irons called 27 Groups of Exercises. Not all 27 of them are lip slurs, but a large portion are. And they start off very easy and then gradually get more difficult. That's exactly where I learned how to do lip slurs. So keep these things in mind as you're working on your range and lip slurs and that tongue arch to help everything work more efficiently together. Have fun.